Isn't that great? I love that name. Ham is from a long line of pig farmers. Oh, you put a comma there, didn't you? Okay. And his owner of a huge ham ribs barbecue eatery located in his hometown of Plum Nelly, Florida. And he'll tell you about that. Yeah. He's become one of the Southern TV authorities on food, nutrition, and exercise. You'll see. He'll start with a formal lecture and then he'll answer some questions uh, that were posed to him that we have, that, that were gotten to us from the audience before the show. And now I'd like to present to you Ham Hawk's Rib. <laughs> One of those pigs is male and one is female. If you look closely, you can tell. farmer in the Dell or say it isn't so. seems to have settled in my left lung. But my right lung is fine, so I'll go on with that. I guess we'll uh, be told a little bit about where I'm coming from down there in Florida. And we've had this long line of people who run this hog farm and ended up with me so far. And then later on, my wife decided that she wanted to open a spa along with that. You know, one of those places where ladies and men can come and get some of the type of southern exercise and food and just relaxation. So that's what we did. We put the spa in. And then way out back in the 540, we had a nice pool out there. Just a natural grass pool and it was lovely to look at. And we decided we are going to try to put that into the whole landscape. So I went out there one day to look at that, that pool. And as I was walking by some pigs that was out in the field, I noticed they had knocked over their watering trough. So I went over there and I righted it up and I noticed it was a five gallon pail there. So I picked it up went down to that little pond I told you about to fill up the take some water and bring it back and fill up the trough. Well, on my way down, as I was going through some little grove of trees, I heard some laughter and some giggling. And as it turns out, there was some college-age girls down there doing some swimming, buck naked. <laughs> skinny did that they called it right and so i was going down there they heard me coming through the trees so they got out into the deep part of the pond which just and by the time i got there there was just nothing with their heads showing and so they yelled out at me hey there ham we don't want you down here looking at us and gawking at us so just get out of here would you and i said well i'm not down here to look at you pretty young girls. I'm just down here, and I held up the five-gallon pail, and I said, I'm just down here to feed the alligator. <laughs> well, 
I guess I'll just go on with that. There was those questions that the piano man told you about. And so we'll just go on and see if I can answer some of those questions. Now we're going to answer them just exactly the way we treat those people at the restaurant and at the spa. So understand, this is the southern way of answering those questions. Mr. Piano Man. The first question is, as we get older, we seem to put on more weight. Why is that? Well, let me see. That might seem to be a pretty obvious answer to that question. Now, if you notice, as you get older, some people get a little trouble with their hearts or their high blood pressure or arthritis or many different things occur to them. And so we go to a doctor. Now we go to the doctor, the doctor, what's he do but give us some medicine to take. And we go to the drugstore, we get that little pill bottle, we look at it and get the directions and it says, take with food. <laughs> now ain't that pretty obvious? The more you ache and pain, the more food you're going to eat and the fat you get. So, that's the answer to that one. Number two, is it okay to eat eggs? Is it okay? Now that's a question, ain't it? There's been so much talk about eggs. Some say got too much cholesterol. Some say got too much fat. Go on and on and on. And then what's that, what's that disease that gets in it? Some, 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 I don't know what the heck it is, but there's some disease. But you know, I love eggs. I like eggs cooked any way you can think of to cook them. I particularly like them cooked in cake. <laughs> and shoe fly pie. And in the springtime, you know those eggs that they come out with? The ones from Cadbury? <laughs> Marvelous. Yes, sir. What are some of the advantages of participating in a regular exercise program? I can't think of a single one. I went on a diet one time, I tried to, but I found out I had a physical condition that prevented me doing it. It's called hunger pangs. <laughs> Mr. Piano Man. Will sit-ups help me from getting a little apple-shaped around the middle? Will sit-ups help? Hmm. Well, now, anytime you do exercise, you're going, what that really means is that you're doing something with a muscle. And every time you exercise a muscle, what's it do? it gets bigger. So, the more you exercise, the bigger the muscle gets. So if you want a, an apple-shaped midsection, keep up the exercise, keep up those sit-ups, you're gonna get them. The best thing to do is to take a nap. Is swimming good for an hourglass shape? Is swimming good for an hourglass figure? Have you ever seen a Florida manatee? <laughs> <laughs> they call them sea cows. Have you ever seen a whale? That's it for the question. I've heard that cardiovascular exercise can prolong life. Is this true? Cardiovascular exercise means exercise in the heart. Ain't that right? Now, every human being is allotted just so many trillion heartbeats in your whole life. That's all you get. And when you run out of those heartbeats, that's the end of it. So if you think that speeding up your life, your heart, 
is going to give you a longer life, you can forget it. That's like taking your own automobile, driving it fast to make it last longer. Does that make any sense to you? No, get on the hammock. Yes, sir. I think that's all the questions. That, that, that that's that's all, all the questions. I think, I think okay. I all well, I that's all the questions. I want to end up by just telling you that life is too short to, for you to just get yourself to the pearly gates just in time so that you're just as pretty as you can be or handsome, all just shined up and, and you think you're going to be spiffy as you go on through there. That's not the way to do it. You want to do it like we sing an old song down south, in a, and it has in it the words that the best kind of living is to love and to laugh and to lift. To lift means to help someone else do their lifting for them. And so if you do that, if you just get yourself completely wore out, all used up, that's the way you want to do it. You want to go there, slip in sideways through the pearly gates. You want to have a nice glass of iced tea in one end and a ham sandwich in the other and just say, woo, woo, what a ride. Thank you all for coming. This is the most exercise I do all day. Mambo, you beat me right now. <laughs>